What's up everybody, all the Rage Gamer here, coming at you today with another video. Uh, as promised, we're doing a, uh, a full gameplay, uh, full playthrough I should say, of uh, Blasphemous, which is a 2D uh, kind of Metroidvania side-scrolling uh, kind of Dark Soulsy, I guess you could say, kind of game. Uh, it came highly recommended to me by my buddy John, who... Uh, I've been playing a lot of Hunt Showdown with recently, but uh, seeing as there's a Steam sale going on, uh, this was on sale. Uh, I don't recall the exact amount of how much it was marked down, but uh, the Steam sale, uh, the, their quote-unquote winter sale, goes until January 5th, uh, and it is currently January 2nd as I'm recording this. So there's a few more days of the sale if you want to uh, pick this up or any other games that are on sale. But uh, yeah, uh, John highly recommended this to me. Says it's uh, pretty effing metal, <laughs> so uh, I can appreciate that. And from what I could tell from the little trailer from the uh, the store page on Steam for this, it definitely looks that way, and uh, I can get behind that. So without further ado, let's just jump in. All right. Well, oh, pretty ominous uh, little main menu here. So uh, let's just let's just jump right on into it. Uh, we'll select a pilgrimage slot one, I suppose. It is not the sun rising, but our sins. Anonymous. What is this? A friggin' green text Reddit page? <laughs> Because it is my guilt, I claim your grievous miracle. Make my chest hurt with regret. Forge your punishment and nail it deep. Shape my guilt once again. Ooh. That, that seems pretty painful. All right, then. I presume that was us and that pulled thus, that out. Guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace, sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine will, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the Miracle. Imagine that's probably our character. All right then. All right, left bumper. Let's let's get up and let's do this. Biliary flasks. Press left bumper to consume. Okay, so basically that's our healing item. All right. Uh, a seems to be jump, uh, X is attack, B and Y don't seem to do anything. Eh, nothing down here. Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> Alright, guess a little tutorial section. Uh, 
Okay, that lets us descend to platforms below us. Right trigger. Alright, so that's like a little slide. Perhaps our, uh, our dodge, I guess. Yeah, there we go. X is to attack. What do we got here? A pre dean or DU. Probably butchering the name of that, <laughs> but, uh... Uh, okay, so it's essentially our checkpoint. Oh, yeah, we should probably activate it, right? Get, uh, get our health topped off. Oh! What do we have here? Our tutorial boss? Oh, okay. Is that all you do, buddy? You just jump and do that? Right. Seems that way. Maybe, okay. We don't even have to jump over that thing that he does. We can just dodge through him. Seems easy enough. Now you're not much of a challenge, buddy. And now he's on the edge of the screen, so we can't dodge through him anymore. Hey, get fucked, bud. Requiem Eternum, okay. Ooh, okay, we're we gonna unmask ourselves. Alright. We're, uh... Okay, we're filling our helmet with his blood. And putting it back on. Alright. Seems... Seems like something that you'd do. <laughs> Alright then. <clears throat> well, John was not wrong about this game being pretty metal. And we've only been playing for a couple minutes. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? You need key to the chamber of the eldest brother to open this door. Okay. And then it wants me to... Okay, so that opens that gate. Alrighty. The Holy Line. Oh, who are you? Regretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. I am Deo Gracias, witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. Okay, Deo Gracias, sure. The cradle of affliction is what you see. This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. Guy looks like he has an alien face hugger on his face. It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. Are the walls as high as the uh, tip of your hat? However, <laughs> what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. Another in the depths of a dull, entombed church where the sleeper lies. Last one, at the end of the trail, carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral. In the bowels of the bell named Hondo, that grows into the earth. Take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword. 
if, when the time comes, as you grip your weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed. I mean, why would I want to do that? Having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. You've acquired Thorn. All right. All right, let's open our inventory by pressing that button. Small gift from Deo Gracias nailed into the effigy of the Twisted under the guard of your sword. The thorns arisen from the miracle feed on sin and guilt, growing with the burden that its bearer carries. Okay, then we got uh, some other menus here. Rosary beads, relics, mea culpa hearts, prayers... Uh, there's our ability screen, which I would imagine we'll be able to unlock the stuff later on. And collectibles. Alright then. You got anything else to say, bud? Even a wise penitent like him. however, what I saw for Okay, so you're just you're just repeating yourself. Alright. Alright, let's uh let's forge forward, shall we? Alright. Yeah, get wrecked, bud. Oh, what? This guy... <laughs> this guy's got the Logarius wheel! <laughs> uh, press right bumper to parry. Allows you to counter weak attacks and deflect heavy strikes during the... Okay. Alright, seems easy enough. Uh, all right, cool. <laughs> we uh, we crushed him with his own wheel. Very good. Oh shit! Oh, what's this? You've acquired Vidalis of the Forsaken something in order to use. Okay, it's a prayer. Song that filled the air during the festivities of a lost village. Its power finds its way through the floor, continues through walls and ceilings, harming the enemies of the penitent one. The ringing of a laced shell horn used to precede this chant, but now only silence remains. Alright, let's equip it. Uh, left trigger, okay. Alright, cool, <laughs> cool stuff, alright, we like it. Ah, oh, God! Friggin' mud zombies, man. Apparently, if I'm not on the same platform as that guy, can I cut these down? I can. If I'm not on the same platform as him, he won't ever attack me. Alright. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, we mistimed that. We failed. Ugh. Oh yes, another execution. I'll take it. <clears throat> Dude, what, what is that? What What is that? Let's hit it. What is that? One out of 38. Children of Moonlight. You'll find them caged all over Custodia. You can release them with any technique at your disposal. Okay. I mean, what does that do for me? Are they just like a... Like a collectible or something, more or less? Ow! Oh, God! I mean, what are these, these guys just walk forward with their, like, knives or whatever? 
They don't, like, do anything else. Apparently not. All right. There is no answer to our plea. The miracle has forsaken us, and my ornate throne turns its back on those who wait here. We've entered Albiro, it seems like. All right, press that button to open our map. All right. Seems easy enough. Yay! 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 <laughs> All right. Oh, hello. Sorrowful will be the heart, penitent one. Welcome to Albero. Sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the kissers of wounds. Mm, okay, you like kissing wounds. Few All right, then. remain here who can still employ it. But Tirso is my name. Well, hi, Tirso. There are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus, both we and they remain at the mercy of the miracle. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not contemplate. But if your penance happens to carry you under set skies, be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. The will in the miracle shall show you which ones they are. Okay, so you want ointment ingredients, Time sure. outside, but if right, you're so, so yeah. Okay, you're just repeating yourself. All right, let's see what's uh, down here. I always like to kind of, with these kind of games, I tend to always go to the lowest point first. Kind of see what's down there. So, uh, let's see what we got. What's this? Penitent one, you who carried the painful guilt in your cracked hands. Lend it to us and alleviate our burden. Lend it to us and wipe away our tears. Because it is an act of penitence. Okay. The virtue of Mia Culpa hath ascended. Mia Culpa shrines. Visit Mia Culpa shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend tears of atonement to unlock combat techniques. Visit additional shrines and increase Mia Culpa's strength to access more powerful techniques. All right, so this is where I imagine we can uh, unlock those. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bleeding Miracle. Well, that's that seems to be, like, top tier. Uh, let's see. We can unlock this stuff. Last Words. Lock cost 2,000. We're probably not going to be unlocking that. Sinful Wrath. Consecrates the power of the Mia Culpa on the blade, allowing the Penitent One to release its full potential in a single but incredible devastating attack. Okay. Uh, we can't unlock that yet. Weight of Sin. It takes advantage of the speed of a fall to perform a powerful plunge attack. And Sacred Thrust, which we definitely don't have enough with. Uh, have enough to purchase it with. Uh, let's go with Sinful Wrath, I guess. Alright. Can't go that way, so... Alright. Alright. So it definitely paid off to go uh, to the lowest level first. Let's uh, let's see what's on the top level. All right, we got a we got an item here. A dove skull. Okay. 
which is a rosary bead of some sort. Equip rosary beads in your rosary to improve the characteristics of the penitent one. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can equip. Okay. Uh, a skull of a bird drilled as a collet. Its apparent frailness slightly strengthens the penitent one's defenses. Alright, well, no reason not to equip it. Oh, there's another one of those moonlight babies and some sort of lever that I can't seem to interact with. Alright, wonder if we can, uh... Oh, no, that didn't work how I wanted it to. Thou hast called upon the witch of the Order of the True Shrine. In this place, we gather the remains of those who were separated and forgotten, so we can grab them holy burial as our charitable rule prescribeth. Help us, these poor souls, O penitent woman in silence. The Order blesses you. Anything else to say? Place, we gather no, you, okay. Alright. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'd be able to reach that moonlight baby just jumping from that platform, so... We'll skip that for now. I feel like that lever will come into play later on. What do we got here? Phalanx of Bran and the Gravedigger? That's a collectible, which doesn't seem like it really does anything, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna pick it up and move on. Alright, we're now in the wasteland of the Buried Churches. Alright then. I don't know what that was, but I figured I'd just kill it. Alright, uh... That seems to be deadly, so we're not gonna... We're not gonna jump on that. Oh, that, oh you throw fucking rocks at me? Fuck out of here. We tried to parry that, and we failed. Alright, we can't parry that. It's a heavy attack. Alright. We got an item down there. Just past the little spike pit. And some sort of big enemy, it looks like. And we got another one of these rock-throwing cucks. Yeah, get out of here, bud. Uh, can I... No? Alright, I imagine we probably can go to, like, a... Probably through here. There's probably a lower point inside this to get down to that bit, I'd imagine. Through that door right there. Right, seems we have to parry these guys to open them up from their shield. Ooh! Just chop that Mo truck his head off. Who doesn't like a good decapitation? There we go. Another one. Another one for you. Well, let's try this charge attack. <laughs> Alright. Nice. We disemboweled them and then shoved their face into their... <laughs> into their exposed... Uh... Fucking, uh... Entrails. I like that. I like that a lot. I probably like it a little too much. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. <clears throat> ah, okay, here we go. Here's this, uh, this big guy. We're gonna use this on him. I don't know what he does. Oh, okay. Puts a little little shock wave on the ground, it looks like. Alright. That wasn't wasn't too big of a challenge. What do we got here? The uvula of proclamation. Okay. It's another rosary bead. 
When this is equipped, you have a chance of earning Tears of Atonement when destroying an object. Sure, why not? No reason not to equip it at this point. gate right there that we can't pass through although there is one of those like things that opens gates on the other side of it so maybe we shortcut through this area at some point uh, let's see all right there wasn't anything else up there so there's an item up there however <laughs> Love it. Alright. This guy... This guy's throwing rocks at me from up there. I don't appreciate this. Capitate of Barok the Herald. Another collectible. Alright. Another Moonlight Baby as well. Can I get it? Well, actually, maybe I can get up to where... Alright, yeah. Oh, shit. Getting rocks chucked at me from all the way over there, too. Alright. Another moonlight child. Oh, God. Falcon Punch! So savage. I love it. Alright. Alright, so we got three ways to go here. Let's use a flask and heal ourselves. Well, let's uh let's go with our gut. Let's go down first. This seems like the path to like forge forward, so let's actually let's check out the other paths first. What's out this way? Okay. Oh, another one of those another one of those guys. <laughs> let's see what's up here. Ah, you motherfucker! Well, let's take some of this. <clears throat> okay. Multiple paths to go here. Well, let's, uh... Try to navigate this little spike hazard right here. See what's through here. Oh, hi. What do you get? Heart of the Virtuous Pain. It's a sword heart. Equip a sword heart and Mia Culpa to modify its properties. They grant powerful upgrades, but this always comes at a price. Of course it does. All right. Sword core, blessed with defensive prayers, can be inserted into Mia Culpa. Boosts the blocking stand, increasing its duration, but exposes the penitent one longer to enemy attacks. Uh, why can't we equip it? Kneel in sacred ground. To, okay, so we probably have to be at a Mila, Mia Culpa shrine in order to equip it. And there's another moonlight child that probably not going to be able to reach from here. And uh, we don't know what's what's below, so I don't want to take that chance. Alright, let's uh, see what's up here and then we'll we'll go back down towards the bottom. Trees wither. Okay, so this must be the uh, 
the snowy mountain area that that guy was talking about. All right, let's, uh... <clears throat> that seems like a new zone, so we're gonna, uh... We're gonna go back down towards, uh, towards the bottom here. And kind of go along that, uh, that, like, bridge path that we came across. Which I believe is down that way. Or we can explore this first, too, I suppose. rock-throwing mo truckers. Alright. Now let's get this guy out of here first. I don't want rocks being chucked at me while I'm trying. Okay, there's a spike hazard down there. Okay. <laughs> that seems to create a shortcut for us. Alright, very good. Alright, so that allows us to get back up there so we can progress. that over, make that a shortcut as well. We got over this way. A bridge of the three cavalries. Okay. Well, we got a uh, we got a shrine here. All right. Let's uh, let's go back and explore that last. That last path that was at the bottom of, like, that, uh, church that we were in. <clears throat> Just forget all these guys. I ain't got the... I ain't got the time! I ain't nobody got time to sit there and wait for you to attack so I can parry you. Alright, let's head back down this way. And, uh, yes, here's that, uh... That spot. Okay, we can go down here, it seems. Uh, yep, I want to do this because it's very satisfying. <laughs> it's extremely satisfying to do that. All right. Uh, let's... can we get up here? Up onto this... this ledge right here? Yes, we can, alright. Head on up. Oh, who's who's this guy? Sister of mine, as I foretold you, someone is heading towards the Forbidden Gate. Someone who seeks the purge and excommunication of all that is sacred and rests there. No, no, do not place your doubts on me. I am ready. Okay. Don't know who that guy was. Now we're in Mercy Dreams. Okay. Uh, well, like we always do, let's head downwards first. Alright, so we got a, a gate with a mechanism there. Let's head to the left first. Alright, we got a checkpoint shrine. Very good. Oh, 
okay, we can equip uh, this here. All right. Very good. New enemy here. Ooh, he's got a nice, uh, nice thrust attack on that. like yes all right so that's the shortcut back up to that spot let's keep heading down uh, can't progress that way yet <coughs> Ooh, what are these what are these guys oh fuck oh god oh god ow Seems you can just interrupt these guys when they're like glowing and about to shoot their little fireballs. Ah, uh, classic platforming. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck out of here. Well, I didn't want to do that. That was. <laughs> That was <laughs> not the button I wanted. I don't know what this guy does, but... He seemed to just want to keep, like, poking me with his spear. Ooh, a Moonlight Child. Alright. What do we got here? Cervical vertebra of Zicker the Brewmaster. I right, know they're collectible. Uh, is this? Yes, okay. That's the shortcut back up to there. Let's keep. Oh, shit! Oh, God! Let's go left first. Oh, what do we got here? Hmm. Seems like a merchant. Let us be captives of the miracle, penitent one. What if I don't want to be a captive? Do not be surprised to find this merchant yeah, here. Merchant. Yeah, we this called it. Called it. Requires me to be wherever I can obtain rewarding benefits. I mean, who doesn't like good benefits? Call me Candelaria. For what I sell would make your eyes light up like the high bonfires. I see what you did there. Okay. I will not ask you for any money whatsoever. Those forbidden tears you shed would be more than enough for me. Okay. Go ahead. Cast your darkened eyes over these valuable treasures. Sure, what's this? What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the first star of the night. Oh, is it now? And may my eyes be blinded if I'm lying. Alright, we're about to find out. <clears throat> moss preserved in glass. Minute jar filled with moss, the tiny white flowers that shimmer inside can grant some protection against toxins. Buy it for 1500 Nah. 
What, what's this? What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the first star of the night. <clears throat> oh, well, you said that about the last and item, too. May my eyes be blinded if I... Yeah, okay. Hollow pearl, empty, tarnished sphere. There's no trace of something left, but it retains just a hint of bluish sheen. It creates fervor when destroying surrounding objects. Okay. Uh, buy it for a thousand. Well, let's see what this is. Looks Behold, like some I sort of key. To you, though a small piece, its great power should not be underestimated. <laughs> I mean, what kind of power could it Trust possess? It's a key, or it looks I like it's key. The blood of yeah, yeah, okay. Key to the chamber of the eldest brother. Of oh, that's the, um... That was the door right after the tutorial boss, I believe. That's Alright, yeah, we'll buy that for 400. You got anything else to say? Let us be cut. No, you don't, okay. Uh, maybe I'll be back for these other things. And can we go this way? No, we cannot. Alright. Alright, let's head off to the right, I suppose. Alright. Actually, let's, let's backtrack a bit. Let's uh, head back up to the top here from uh, all the stuff that we shortcutted because I believe there were some other paths uh, to go up there. So let us uh, let us head back up that way. All right, what was through here? Did we already go through this? Yes, we did. That's the shrine. Okay, we have we weren't in here. What is this? You are rid of guilt. Okay. Is that is that all this does? Okay, you are rid of guilt. Okay, alright. Great. Thanks. Thanks for that. Alright. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but thank you. Alright. Alright, and that was the entrance that we came in. Alright. So, rid of guilt thing is there. Let's uh, let's hit that shrine so we can get our flasks back, which is right through here. Boop. All right. Yeah, we probably do need to be at a Mia Culpa shrine to unlock abilities. We actually don't need to we don't need to go through that, I don't think. Because I think that just Yeah, that shortcuts us back to right here. So we don't even need to go through there. <clears throat> uh, and then going through there leads us back to this door. So basically we just Ah fuck! Oh god! You motherfuckers! Take it! Take it! Take it! Alright. Alright, let's head right. Alright, yes. Uh, can we... No, we can't get through there. Alright. Seems we gotta do a little platforming. Can't duck under that fireball, apparently. Are you trying to, like, come and, like, hit me with a flail, bud? Or something? Jesus. <laughs> eh. 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 <laughs> Alright. That was satisfying. Got both of them. Got both of them with that. Oh 
god! Take that! Oh god! Ooh, what do we do to execute you? We s <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Excellent. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Ow! Fucking! Ow! Oh, god damn it! No! Oh, we don't have any, uh... Yeah, why well, don't we just cheese this guy? <laughs> he, he doesn't... He doesn't want any now. Now let's use that last flask, I guess. Fucking... Take it! Alright, there we go. We got there. Uh, yeah, we definitely don't want to drop down right there. These guys are pretty easy. You can just spam them down, it seems. You can just stun lock them so they can't do anything. Ooh, what was that? A hidden, like an illusory wall, it kind of seemed like. So we got a nice little, uh, little noise when we hit the wall. Alright, let's see what's down here. Lots of bad guys. Alright. Fuck you, buddy. Get the fuck out of here. You can take it! Take it! Take it! Alright. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god, no! We got there. This better be worth it. Empty bile vessel. Alright. Cool. What is that? Vessel made of crystal and gold, capable of holding the hallowed bile that emanates from the morning fountains. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Very good. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Uh, all I know is that we are extremely close to death at the moment. <laughs> Alright. What do we get down here? Uh, oh, hello. Who are you? From a place of blessings have I been entrusted with watching over you, penitent one. Thus it has been arranged. Okay. My name is Viridiana. I have been granted a gift with which I can assist you in carrying your Viridiana. burden. Viridiana. But only you can make that choice. Okay. Penitent one in silence. Will you require my assistance with your next task? Uh, sure, why not? So be it. So be it. Okay, bye! <laughs> oh, thank, thank the sweet baby Jesus. We needed that. Alright. Uh, so we do have somewhere to go there, and we do have a pathway there. That seems to go outside. Uh, so let's see what's through this pathway here. Uh, okay. No music. Uh, seems to be... <laughs> my, uh, my spidey senses are tingling that this is a boss encounter. Oh, yep. Called it! Oh, shit. This guy looks like the Leshen from The Witcher. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. He swipes at you. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, you even... You sprout roots? Oh, you're definitely... You're definitely inspired by the Leshen from The Witcher, for sure. Oh, God. What are you doing? I don't... I don't like that. Alright. Take some of this, bud. 
Ooh, we can block that, okay. Okay, I can break those, alright. Alright, so seems seems easy enough. He does that. Or he shoots a bunch of roots, and then he does the stomp. He also does that, which you can block. Uh, that stomp does two roots, or it only did one there. Three that time. Oh god, that hurt. There's, there's the lady. I mean, what did she do? Well, doesn't seem I actually need your help. I'm kind of just whooping this guy's ass at the moment. Fucking take it! Requiem Eternum, bitch. I'm scary Terry, bitch! A little Rick and Morty reference for you there. Alright, the lady's gone. Okay. What do we got here? What is... Okay. Okay. Let's see if there's anything to the left. There is not. Alright. <laughs> All right. Oh, hi. In the, In the name of the great ordeal and the sons of the miracle, when you humbled yourself before my most holy body, you have been granted the presence of my golden visage, custodian of one of the three sorrows of the soul in penance. Our miracle has chosen me amongst all the peers, just as it chose you to walk on the sacred sea. <laughs> the sacred sea? I mean, it's like a de or I guess a sea of desert. <laughs> May the gold in my visage melt and erase the attrition of your soul. Sure. Heart of guilt, return now from the dream. We acquired the Holy Wound of Attrition. Okay. Alright, what is that? Mark left by the golden visage that reveals the cleanliness of attrition in the soul of the pennant. Okay, sure. Oh, it's, uh... It's Mr. Deo Gracias again! You have carried out the first humiliation of penance. Oh, did I? Okay, cool. You have met the visage of attrition. You have yet to prostrate before two last holy visages. Okay. Sorrowful be the heart, penitent. Alright. Nothing else to say? Alright. Let's, uh... Let's hit this shrine, and uh, I think that's probably a good spot to end this uh, first episode of Blasphemous. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I, I certainly am enjoying this game a lot. It uh, definitely is pretty metal. Uh, I really like doing the executions on some of the enemies there. It's pretty savage. Alright, so uh, yeah, I think that'll wrap up episode one, so uh, stay tuned for episode two in my playthrough of Blasphemous, which should be 
Uh, probably coming pretty soon. I'll uh, continue playing this very shortly, so thanks a lot for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments in the comment section down below, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I really would appreciate that. So this has been all the Rage Gamer. We'll catch you later in the next video.